Carver and I went, it was two Saturdays ago that we went to the store to look for, you know, supplies for the um, supply drive uh, for the firefighters. And we um, were actually looking for Play-Doh. And <laughs> we saw the, um, we turned around and we saw the baby Yoda and those big eyes just caught our, just locked in. And uh, I said, what do you think about this? Should we take this? And what did you say? Yes. Yeah, he thought mm -hmm. that would be a good idea. So um, so then what did we do next? Brought it to the fire. We brought him to the fireplace. And what did we write? Did we write him a note? Yeah, we wrote him a note. So, And then we got out of the car. And what did you do? Gave it to the firefighter with my mask on. I wanted to do it for Carver to make sure he knew the baby Yoda made it there. And even if I got a few photos, it was totally worth it to me. And then it was so reciprocated from everybody. They wanted baby Yoda. So they took him and they ran. <laughs> We were able to uh, take him with us on, a, on our first flight, um, on our first air attack mission of the day. And uh, we took him up and we actually were flying pretty high so we can get a couple of those, couple of those good pictures of him in the window looking out over the fire. They, they, they turned out pretty, pretty good, I think. Um, but it was just a blast. And the pilot that I had with me, Mike, he, he, was, all, he was all about it. Once I asked, hey, can we take Yoda with us? He's like, oh yeah, for sure let's 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 get that done and then so the the picture of Yoda behind him on his back that was all that was all all his idea there for that one um he wanted that one to be done so he could send it back home and that's what's neat about it like just being able to connect that back home It was a little part of home. It made them think about home and um, think about the loved ones that they left left behind back home while they're out doing working long days and working this grueling, not not so much fun task. And I think just showing that, um, having that homely feeling, and also seeing that there is somebody else out there that's appreciating them. Even five year olds are appreciating them, and um, I think that's really really what it was with how all the negative and hard work and stuff that goes on in a fire. That was just, just that piece of joy that it brought to you. And I think that's more of why there were their tears and people just loved it. And I think instead of the traumatizing stuff that's in the news all the time, it's shining a little bit of light on our first responders are still human, they're still out there, and now they get to have a little bit of fun while they're still on the job. <laughs> this one's, yeah, this one. <laughs> he certainly knows how to bring a smile to people's face. <laughs>